Welcome on in. This is Spruce and Studs, and I feel like a kid in a candy store. Uh, it's Christmas Day, literally in the middle of July. Why am I so excited? You all, you already know the reason why I'm so excited is because my chapter, The Blood Angels, has dropped a ton of Terminators. And in this one, we are going to finish up looking at the Terminators with the Thunder Hammer and Storm Shield combination. Specifically, we're going to be looking at the Grunt Veteran Terminator and then the Terminator Sergeant with his special shield. So there's nothing to do but just jump right on in. Time for number two. And we shall see what number two has to offer compared to number one. Feast your eyes. This, I believe, folks, is the optimal loadout for a Assault Terminator, in my strong opinion. I do love Thunder Hammers right here, and I love Storm Shields as well. There's something about this nasty close-quartered combat that I love. Getting in and smashing your opponent's skull and face in. It's great. Anyway, I digress. So we're going to be taking a look at this lovely looking Indominus Pattern Terminator right here. So up top, you have more lovely Blood Angels iconography. I cannot say anymore how awesome this thing looks. So you have your characteristic triple blood tears here, and then you have it also reflected on the back of the Terminator. And clearly, it is gold on the outside, and then I do love these blood tears because you have that metallic undercoat and then the translucent red overcoat. And moving down to the lovely face region of this action figure, more green lenses, some silver accents with the vent areas. It looks classically Terminator-like. You flip over to the right pauldron, there is a smaller black winged blood here compared to the standard bearer, but you do get to see the characteristic highlights that are on the black feathers, and you do get a very, very nice printed banner down here that obviously says ball. You flip this around, is the characteristic gray Crux Terminatus, which has a lot of depth in my opinion. You get this dark gray base and then it has been highlighted up take a look at this heraldic shield it has a very angelic quality to it as you would normally expect with the blood angels anyways so more lovely banners that are flowing down beneath the gold winged blood tier here and this has been also extensively shaded which is nice to see with the middle of this action figure you get a little bit di different iconography. There is a double Aquila, except the difference is that this one has a blood tear in the middle. On the Terminator's forearms, you get more blood tears. On each knuckle of this hand, you also do get blood tears as well. Now, looking at the belt area, it appears that for some odd reason, this action figure on my particular one, the belt separated from the rest of this waist area. But no matter, that's what a fix is for. You almost get like a floor leaf clovered skull right here that's gold. Some purity seals that are dangling down. And you flip around to the back. This has another extra dangling ornament here. As well as a gold winged blood tear in the back. And then focusing on the lower region of this action figure. You got two shaded skulls on both sides on the knee. A blood tear here, and finally a black winged chalice. Another thing that I wanted to say is that thankfully Joy Toy has put shading on this thing. It may not be as prominent as what we saw before. However, as you can see here, there is shading going on in the recesses of this armor panel. I'm gonna flip around the back and just take a look at what's going on. This is your standard Indominus pattern back, so no departure from there. So the Thunder Hammer is attached to the action figure by this soft plastic cord. You can't remove it, fortunately or unfortunately. Let's take a look at the Thunder Hammer then. So obviously it has a black head, has been highlighted very extensively on the top regions here. There is a gold chalice in the middle. Whereas on the standard bearer, it is a skull. And then you get the characteristic 
branded joy toy weathering here and what can i say about this storm shield it is beautiful it is lovely and it has a lot of character to it so on the front of the storm shield there is clearly a purity seal there is a gold winged blood chalice finally there is a kind of a weird looking blood half blood drop here when i was looking at the stock photos of this action figure that joy toy released this actually was not on the stock photos so can you let me know if this was kind of like an afterthought or if even if this is actually on your action figure that you bought i would like to see that now we will put this guy down and then move on to the sergeant oh man i can't wait to get into this thing Glorious, sexy Terminator. <laughs> oh, this thing looks gorgeous. All right, ahead of us, we have the third and final offering of a thundered, hammered Space Marine. And what can I say? This is the most ornate out of all three of the Terminators that we have taken a look at. On the top of this Terminator armor, we have a gigantic gigantic icon of a winged angel this icon is clearly a gold color but there is a nice shade and then on this sergeant you have a bionic eye that is silver and then has green lenses you actually do get to see another difference there is a gold skull on the top of this helmet but the rest of this area is pretty much the same if you want to look at the pauldron this pauldron is completely different from the rest of the Terminators in that this is a very gigantic gold-winged blood tear that covers pretty much the whole entire pauldron. And it is of two pieces. So the pauldron is a black color underneath and the wing part has been glued on. There is a very large prominent blood tear here. So we flip around the Crux Terminators is also the same as what we've looked at with the rest of the terminators I'm gonna move on to the middle portion and this middle portion is obviously more ornate than the rest of his regular veterans i suppose you can say it so you've got a tan colored banner that is on the back of it and on the front is a purity seal that is connected through a cord that is connected to a gold skull and dangling down from the gold skull are more lovely icons from the blood angels chapter the belt region is also chock full of ornateness there are two purity seals hanging down here a tan colored loincloth and on the back of this thing is a maroon color and we will round out with the lower region on this action figure where you can see a skull on this knee and then another cool icon on this right knee so now that we've taken a look at the body of this sergeant let's take a look at the thunder hammer the thunder hammer is pretty much the same except in the middle you get to see a blood angels monk instead of a blood chalice and because this guy is a veteran sergeant he gets a very cool looking thunder hammer here with extra accessories so just like with the other storm shield that we saw it is dark gunmetal in color with silver highlights and it has some weathering going on over here too there are two blood droplets that are dangling on to each side. Prominently in the middle is a gold winged blood tear with a bunch of shading going on. There's a lovely blood chalice. And Davinos is very nicely screened on this banner, which flows all the way up outlining this whole entire storm shield. And once again, we have come up to the end of the review. So it is time to wrap it up with my final thoughts. Wow. What epic action figures that are in front of my face as well as yours they are so magnificent that i actually don't mind them covering up my face because guess what these guys actually look better than your content creator right here so anyways what is there to like about them well what isn't there to like about these epic figures look at this thing look at these guys they're magnificent they're beautiful i mean if you look at all the iconography of the blood angels these Terminators really represent and glorify the elegance of the Blood Angels. I mean, I love the pauldron on the sergeant, and I love the 
storm shield on the sergeant as well it is big bold and ferocious and you can probably do some nasty shield dashes with them and the sergeant again is festooned with all these icons that the banner bearer as well as the regular terminator does not have obviously he's a sergeant so he should be more decorated but i really love all the different iconography on this guy over here he kind of pales in comparison when you're comparing them side by side next to each other but this guy definitely also holds his own he has a heraldic shield that is very very prominent and very nice looking and if you want to look at the top of this action figure they've got beautiful blood angels iconography all over the place so if you're interested in buying these action figures i will let you know there's a few things that i ran into when i was doing the b-reel so for some odd reason the hands kept popping off on these terminators i'm not exactly sure if the thunder hammer or the storm shield is too heavy but it like i said it kept popping off much to an annoyance to be honest when i was posing the other thing that I really didn't like is these Thunder Hammers are actually completely attached to the action figure. I guess I would have appreciated it if it was completely loose, so you can have more added posability to it. So, if you enjoyed this in-depth review video, please make sure to hit that subscribe button as it helps the channel out very, very much. And to all my brothers and sisters of the chapter who have continued to support this chapter through your viewership, I thank you all for your continued support and without your support this channel would not be here so thanks again and with that being said i will see you guys all in the next one